Hey there. Thank you for stopping by. I am Bro D of Healthy Living with Bro D. And welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, and if you have, welcome back. I much appreciate your stopping in, and I'd like to welcome you to a No Tag Tuesday. But before I do that, let me tell you a little about what my channel is about. I basically do what I eat in the days, food hauls, grocery hauls. Uh, I do chats here and there on Weight Watcher meetings and weigh-ins and different um, topics regarding healthy weight loss, let's put it that way. I also do um, videos on Italian recipes that are traditional in my family, which have nothing to do with weight loss. But because my channel is about healthy living, I feel that cooking and baking is such a part of my life, I like to share that part as well. And for today, I'd like to begin by thanking Suzanne of Suzanne's Bright Lines for these wonderful questions that she came up with. And this edition is called an eclectic mix. Before I forget, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. After you're done watching the video, if you wouldn't mind going into the description box, there you will find a list of today's participants. And it would be wonderful if you wouldn't mind going over and checking them out, watching the videos, giving them a like, and a subscribe would be great too. Everyone brings their own uh, personality into their channel. There are so many different people, such a mix of things that people uh, bring to the table. I think that um, you'll find it very entertaining. And in some cases, you'll learn a lot. I know I have. So on that note, let me get started with the questions. Number one, if you were forced to move because of extreme weather events, where would you choose? Well, if I could live within the United States, I would look to Northern Florida, I would look to the Carolinas, or maybe Tennessee, if they were viable places to go. If I couldn't live within the United States because of weather, I would choose to go to Northern Italy because that is where I have family, and I just would love it there. So. Those would be my choices. Number two, who is your go-to person when you're feeling overwhelmed? Well, if any of you have so far watched my videos, by now, you probably know the answer to this question. That would be Terry. Terry is my bonus sister, as I call her, my sister in spirit, and she would be my go-to person, my confidant. Um, number three, what is your favorite self-care to go and do when you find a day to yourself. Well, that involves Terry too. It would be her and I go for lunch on the spur of the moment and we just shop. She does most of the shopping now. Sorry, Terry, it is true. And I do the browsing, but if I want something, I buy it. So truth be told, I shop too. Uh, let's see, number four. With the push to go electric, would you buy a new car or would you use public transport? Well, in my case, that's not an option really because I live in the burbs. Um, I'm like two miles to the closest gas station, five miles to the closest supermarket. So I would say no and no, I would not go electric and I would not use public transportation. However, um, I suppose if I had no choice, I would have to go electric. I wouldn't be liking it. We lost power for 12 hours this week. So if I already had reservations about that one, they, my concerns are even more. Because if, even if I charged at home, like how would I get anywhere if I had no electric? Um, okay, so number five. Do you prefer DIY or a trade person to do jobs around the house? Well, Suzanne, this is a real easy one for me. I like to have a trades person or a handyman or handy person to do the work around my house. It's expensive, but at this point in my life, I am no expert and I am not interested in, uh, nor can I do many of the things I used to be able to do, including mowing the lawn, even the ride on I can't do anymore. Uh, painting, um, if I could have someone clean my house at this stage of the game, I'd definitely go for that one too. So I would and I would go with someone that I either know and or someone who is highly recommended. Okay, list what, you, oh, do you have a grab and go bag? Other than my very large pocketbook, 
which my grandson looks in there and says, Nana, this is the abyss in here, which he's not far off on that one. And it weighs way more than it should. And believe me, it's not money weighing it down. I do not have a gra grab and go bag, truthfully. List what you would put in a grab and go bag. Well, this made me think about something. I think I may just, Suzanne, go and make one. Um, especially since we had no electric for 12 hours. It's even making me think more that I should have one. So what would I put in there? I would put water, bottles, I would put snacks, I would put a change of clothes, I would put a flashlight, I would put cash, I would put a credit card that I know nothing is on it in terms of a balance, and I would put dog food for my dog because she would have to come with me. She's almost 16, God bless her. My little Princess Callie Lily goes with me in an emergency. Um, my cats can pretty well do, they can do well, but they'd have to come too, truthfully, if it was that bad. Um, and ready food for myself and my husband, which you can get at Walmart. Um, it's the kind that you just add water for camping. And I think change clothes, change shoes. I think I have it all covered. Of course, deodorant, toothpaste, all that good stuff. Number eight, what are you reading or listening to right now? Well, currently I am reading, and it is all about health and wellness, um, just general stuff. And what am I listening to every day that I drive in my car? None other than the Beatles. So always know that's the answer to my question of what I'm listening to. Number nine, what, when was the last time you did something spontaneously without feeling guilty? R.E. Work, children, or spouse? Well... It was kind of spontaneously because there was a little planning involved, so it's not 100%, but it was spontaneous for me, and out of the blue that I just decided to go and rent a um, cabin with no bathroom or running water. The water was running outside, not inside, and it was at a campsite pretty close to my home, and I took my Cali Lily, and Jim stayed home and watched the cats, and I went and had a grand old time for two overnights, so... That's as spontaneous as I have been in a long time. What made me smile today? Well, that's an easy one for me. When I wake up in the morning, I generally smile that I'm here, I can see I'm still alive, and life is good. And on that note, I'm going to end the video. Thanks, Suzanne, again very much for providing these great questions. And I believe we're not having one next week because it is summer. We're doing alternate weeks. We will have one in two weeks. And I cannot tell you at this moment in time whose questions that who is writing the questions. But I thank you all very much for spending time with me out of your busy day and watching my video. And again, please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and you haven't subscribed yet. And also to go check out all my friends. Go to the description box. Check them all out. Thanks again. Bye now. I'll see you in the next one.